All right, let's go ahead and get started with the dropout. What is the dropout? Dropout is a regularization technique used in neural network to prevent the overfitting. There are many type of the techniques which prevents the overfitting like adding the dropout or batch normalization of your input or you can say that you can apply L1 and L2 regularization and the data augmentation. Out of these type, we are going to study here the dropout. This dropout has been really a game changer in deep neural network, which really manage your networks and uh, it prevents your network to, to, to overfit that. So how does this works? Suppose that you have your original neural network, something like that. If you add a dropout in your neural network, during the training iteration, it randomly drops some of these nodes during the training. It actually does not drop these nodes permanently, but during the iteration, during this back propagation, when happens this back propagation, during that back, back propagation and then the feed forward, what happens here during that learning, then in that case, it 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 just does not learn any a, anything during the feed forward networks, and randomly it try to select those nodes which it does not need to learn anything. In the next iteration, the next iteration when your learning uh, starts there, it might include this node, but it might drop this node and this node. It might include this one, and <laughs> it might drop this one. All right. So, so, so that's how this dropout works. So doing this while learning, it, it, it really learn in a such a way that your, your, your model doesn't overfit at all there. I mean, sometimes it overfit, but the chances of overfitting are really less. And the standard practice are here at the initial stage you apply a 0.2 dropout or you can say the 20% of the dropout at the last stage general practice is to apply a 50 0.5 or the 50% dropout that means when the heavy lifting happens at the last stages where we have a fully connected layers at those places just to avoid these overfitting where a large heavy lifting is happening then we add 50% of the dropout so that your model can learn a lot. And other than that, the dropout can, you, you can also think dropout as when your model is learning in the iterations. It follows the multiple path to reach at the output. So in that case, suppose that it is going from here to here, then in that case, if, if, if you have here the multiple nodes, all these nodes, sometimes your input goes from here to here, sometimes it goes from here to here, in other iteration it goes from here, then from here and then from here in multiple iterations. So basically it's like you are training your model with the so many networks. That is why adding this dropout works very well. And in almost all the cases adding this dropout avoid the overfitting and increases the accuracy because it follows the multiple path at the multiple iteration in, in, in that way it's like adding adding so many networks in your neural network all right so this is all about in this lesson i'll see you next one